On Insight, we look at a worldwide trend, femicide. World-renowned feminist writer and activist Diana Russell first coined the term in 1976. She characterized it as the killing of females by males because they are female. For many at that time, the term was seen as a breakthrough. It placed emphasis on female victims. Previously, they were categorized under the gender-neutral term, I should say, homicide. Femicide is often linked to domestic violence. These are some figures revealed in a report conducted in a part by the World Health Organization. Data came from 66 countries. It shows more than a third of femicides are committed by an intimate partner. And when it comes to overall murders tied to intimate partners, the proportion of women killed is six times higher than men killed. Femicide is prevalent in parts of Latin America. In Argentina, for example, a woman is killed every 30 hours. That's the finding of a non-governmental organization investigating violence against women. Recent cases of domestic abuse have shocked Argentinians who marched this week demanding the government take action. CCTV's Joel Richards reports from Buenos Aires. This was a historic march in 80 cities across the country, including Buenos Aires. Argentines turned out by the thousands, carrying signs with the slogan, not one woman less. The number of women murdered in gender crime has shocked this country. In response, journalists and artists on social media organized demonstrations urging a response from the state and from society. There were women and men of all ages, as well as the families of victims of domestic violence, many still fighting for justice. What are the police for? What are the judges for? What are the prosecutors for? To just stand there doing nothing? Or do I have to go to his house and take him to the courts myself? Caterina Munoz says the courts are not investigating the death of her daughter, who died in March of head injuries, allegedly the result of a violent attack eight months previously by her boyfriend. The family says she was mistreated by police and doctors when they looked for help and filed charges. No mother deserves to go through this. We need a consensus to reach a point where we decide what justice is and what justice there is for women. Do we have to die every 30 hours at the hands of our partners because they decide? There have been more than 1,800 victims in the past seven years in Argentina. According to the NGO Casa del Encuentro, at least 2,000 children have lost their mother. With no official government statistics, the NGO is the only source keeping track of violence against women. This issue crosses all socioeconomic and cultural classes. The most dangerous place for a woman and her children is her own home or a shared home. Observers say a culture of masculine pride underpins the violence against women in Argentina. Domestic violence is based on inequalities between men and women, and violence maintains that inequality. Women occupy the role of an object and possession, and men occupy the role of having power. The government is in the process of compiling an official register, but progress is slow. NGOs back to 2009 law to combat violence against women, which mandates a life sentence for femicide, but the law is not fully implemented. This campaign has put violence against women on the public agenda, but it's what happens after this march that matters most. The sheer number of people who attended this march sent a strong message. Come from us, the men, not the women. It is us who have to change, to stand behind women. I came here like other people, my nieces, my aunts, my cousins, but there's still human trafficking. Women are seen as objects. I want to see more awareness about this issue and more strength in the fight against this. We can't pretend that this march will resolve this, but it is a start. One United Nations organization estimates up to 40 percent of women have suffered violence in Latin America. In addition to Argentina, this campaign has already spread to Uruguay and Chile, marching with the same message, not one woman less. Joel Richard, CCTV, Buenos Aires.